Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for coming. I do realise I'm the uh, warm-up round to the main event, so I'm not going to take too much of your time, so we can get on with the more exciting speakers following me today. Um, so, I'm going to be talking about our new Pure Vision detector, but I'd just like to take a step back. Um, back in 1999, Toshiba introduced the four-slice, multi-slice CT um, system, and this system actually came standard with 0.5 millimeter detector element technology, which provided 0.5 millimeter slice thickness. And this is a technology we maintained right throughout our, throughout our multi-slice detector range. And it really did establish us as a leader in, dete in uh, detector manufacturing. At the time with the introduction of four slice CT, uh, our competitors started with one millimeter and 1.25 millimeter slice thickness. So, and uh, over the years, they've come down to approaching 0.5, but we are still the only manufacturer that is able to finely machine these fine detector elements. Now, clinically, that actually makes a difference. If we have a look at a voxel, an isotropic voxel produced from 0.625 millimeter detector compared to 0.5 millimeter detector, you can actually see that the voxel size is 49% smaller. And this has great advantages in that it produces a lot less partial volume averaging, it reduces beam hardening artifacts due to less partial volume averaging, and it also produces sharper, more precise volumetric imaging. Over the years, we've continued to introduce many groundbreaking innovations, and most notably, in 2007, we introduced the world's first dynamic volume wide area detector CT, which covered 16 centimetres in the z-axis, and would provide 0.5 millimetre whole organ coverage. And this really did open up different clinical pathways for patient management. For example, um, whole brain perfusion and stroke imaging in this patient with a left internal, art internal carotid artery occlusion. Dynamic musculoskeletal applications. Uh, in this patient that had pain carrying a shopping bag, and you can see here that there's impingement of the, the scapula to the second rib in this, um, as, as the patient rolls their arm around there, which was the direct cause for their patient's pain. And also a, a more exciting and, and um, really gra um, clinical changing application is ha actually having a look at the pre-surgical pre planning for um, lung carcinoma. And in particular, um, having a look and to see if there's adhesions to lung, uh, lung tumors that are close to um, chest wall structures. And you can see here that there's qu uh, quite obviously a, um, a cleavage plane between the tumor and the descending a thoracic aorta which means that there was no adhesions and this tumour became um, surgically receptible, resectable. So in 2015, what are we going to be able to deliver for you? Well, we're reducing dose of 4D dynamic applications to levels that are approaching dose needed for conventional diagnostic studies, which is surely going to increase the utilisation of functional imaging. We're also going to be able to be driving down doses for all patient examinations, providing increased patient safety. And we're also planning to make this technology standard across the entire Aquilian product range, because at Toshiba we believe that patient safety should never be an option. So with this, we're introducing the, our Pure Vision Detector. The Pure Vision Detector features two main um, two main benefits, two main breakthroughs in manufacturing. And the first, most notably, most notably is a 40% increase in light transmission to the photodiode. And this is directly due to refinements and breakthroughs in the manufacturer of the detector scintillator. In addition, we've been able to decrease the electronic noise in the data acquisition system by 28% through miniaturization of our integrated DAS circuitry. So for the detector manufacturing, um, first off, the each detector module is forged from a solid ceramic ingot. 
And what that does, it really does maintain the structural integrity through the cutting process. We use microblade cutting technology, which creates the septum of the individual detector elements down to an accuracy of just a few microns. And this does two things. Number one, it maximizes the X-ray absorption surface area of the, of the scintillator. And perhaps more importantly, because this is forged from a single um, ceramic ingot, it dramatically reduces imperfections in the cutting process. And this leads to detector elements with far superior luminescent properties, ensuring excellent transmission of light to the photodiode. The final process in, in this manufacturing process is to um, fill the, the septum with, a, with a, a material with a very high reflection coefficient, ensuring that all information carrying photons are directed down to the photodiode. As a result of this groundbreaking manufacturing, this detector is able to produce, um, produce an additional 40% increase of light output for the same exposure compared to a detector cut or manufactured with traditional cutting methods. So an, a, a huge increase in light output transmission with this detector. In 2015, now we're all very familiar and using iterative reconstruction and our systems are getting faster, scan times are getting faster, which means that our imaging is pushed to very, very low photon counts. So therefore, electronic noise that is, that is present when in um, reading out photons from a CT image must be minimized to maintain image quality. So the Pure Vision data acquisition system circuitry uh, has, as I said, been miniaturized to reduce electronic noise by further, further 28%. So that simply means that electro less electronic noise means that you need less photons to maintain the same signal to noise ratio as can be shown in this graphic here. And as I said, as when we're in very low photon count situations, this is a very important development. So we did some physics measurements between our pure vision detector and a detector manufactured with uh, traditional cutting methods. Uh, we scanned a 40 centimeter water phantom over different um, milliamp settings. And you can see here the pure vision detector represented in blue uh, for the same exposure gives less noise compared to a detector cut with a traditional cutting method. And this is mostly due to the fact that we have a 40% increase in light output. And when we're talking about a diagnostic image quality range, this translates to dose savings by up to 40%. And uh, we'll be hearing from um, the clinical experience from Dr. Bull uh, directly after this on what he's been able to achieve in his routine clinical practice. And as I said, as, safety, as patient safety really should never be an option, uh, Toshiba's commitment is to ensure that the pure vision detector is available through our entire Aquilium product range. So just in summary, the pure vision detector brings a 40% increase in light transmission to the photodiode diode and this is due to breakthroughs in detector manufacturing processes. The data acquisition noise has been reduced by 28% through miniaturization of the integrated uh, circuit boards. This detector does allow uh, dose reduction for every patient scan and also, interestingly enough, it reduces contrast dose through a more routine use of lower KVP imaging. And this will be made available through the entire Quillian product range. So thank you very much for your attention. And uh, we'll be moving on, as uh, I said now, to more interesting clinical presentations from Professor uh, Bull sitting down here. Thank you very much.